This is the first MOD owned satellite that we've launched in 20 years and will be on the very first space launch from the United Kingdom with Virgin Orbit. So it's an incredibly exciting program and really does get us on the path to greater capability. As a country, and in fact all over the world, what people are really starting to look at is responsive space launch. What we're showing is um, you know, how we can have this capability brought in and how we can have flexible capability to be able to launch different spacecraft at different times as and when is required, while, rather than having to ship your spacecraft over to a different country for a, for a vertical launch. Prometheus 2 is a collaboration between MOD, between uh, Defence Science Technology Labs, DSTL, and international partners, including the uh, National Reconnaissance Office, the NRO, as well. This mission will contribute to the understanding of how you can do space protection and space situational awareness. So collaboration with other agencies, particularly uh, Space Command and indeed uh, UK Space Agency for where we'll eventually launch the programme on from Cornwall on the Virgin Orbiter. And what we're using it for is a, basically an in-orbit test bed for RF sensing, geolocation experiments and uh, radar detection experiments. The satellites we're building are going to be used as research demonstrators. Uh, we were able to bring a lot of our design work that we'd done on our Faraday 1 mission, including a number of the payloads and the platform design to the programme. We then were able to fold that together with the work that Airbus were doing and with a lot of the requirements that DSTL had been uh, evolving over the last few years. DSTL are incredibly important to the technology that we are using to develop our capability over the coming years. So Prometheus 2, as the first step uh, on that path, I think is incredibly exciting. And DSDL are front and center in terms of where we're going.